Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I want to talk about a pretty cool plugin for DaVinci Resolve, both for the free version and the studio version. And I'm talking about the plugin called The Answer, because this plugin has a pretty cool and realistic film simulation that we can apply both in our pictures or video inside DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned! Before we start, I want to talk about our sponsor, this amazing glass of Amaretto and... Ah, they are not sponsoring us. But they say they are going to send us a crate full of bottles. I organized a party for tomorrow. Okay, the show must go home. Before I start to talk more about this plugin, I will explain you for who is this plugin. I think this plugin can work pretty well if you don't have much experience about color grading and you really love the look of film simulation, both for your videos and photos, for example, the Kodak Portra or the Cinesteel. There are many film simulations that are pretty difficult to simulate in your workflow if you don't know how to color grade properly your footage or your photos. So this plugin can really speed up your process of color grading just with a couple of clicks. This plugin can work pretty well for you if you don't like the look of overlaid grain that you can apply in your footage because when you overlay the grain um, there is not gonna be a really uh, realistic grain because the grain is uh, something that you can get uh, with different luminance levels in your image and also with different color saturation so the grain will adapt based on colors, depth and luminance instead of just a simple overlay that you can apply on top of your footage. A film grain that will adapt with the AI to your footage will look more realistic than one you will overlay on top of your footage. Another reason why you can consider this plugin is the bloom effect that this plugin can provide is not similar uh, than what we see in DaVinci Resolve. In the one in DaVinci Resolve is a little bit weird, I don't really love it, but the bloom effect from this plugin looks more realistic, but it will still look like you added in post and it has a little bit of digital look. Or you can consider this plugin because of the aliation effect that is uh, pretty cool. It's uh, an effect that will give a little bit of red highlights around the bright light sources and specular highlights. So for example, if you love to shoot with an analog camera and you shoot film, uh, you will see the aliation effect all around your pictures that is uh, pretty normal in film photography. The aspect that I love the most about this plugin in my case are the film simulations. I really love the look of the Coda Vista film simulation and also the Cine Steel 800 that uh, I didn't really have the time to create a lot with that look. So I'm really happy that I can have these film simulation looks without uh, losing too much time in the color grading page. If you are wondering if the bloom effect is good enough or similar on what we see from a diffusion filter, uh, I will show you a little bit uh, how it's gonna look uh, with the diffusion filter and without. So this is gonna be the clip with the diffusion filter in front of the lens, that is uh, the black promist with an intensity of a quarter, and I'm using the Zeiss 25mm f2.8, uh, f2 and now I will unscrew an arm of focus, but I'm using a manual lens, okay. And this is without the diffusion filter, and now I'm gonna snap on the effect from the answer, and then you have to judge yourself if this is a credible diffusion effect or not. Let me know in the comment below if you like this effect or not. I'm curious. So the real question about this plugin is, is it worth to buy it or not? Let me grab a sip. It depends. It depends from you. If you're gonna use a lot, really strong, filmic, vintage look in your videos, maybe it's worth to consider this plugin because it will speed up your workflow, workflow pride. Wait, a sip hit me. 
So this plugin will speed up your workflow pretty a lot because if you're going in the studio page to add the aliation effect or the bloom effect with more controls thanks of the fusion workflow uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time and with the plugin it's gonna be extremely fast and easy if you don't have the full version of davinci resolve and you're an adapt what should you get to get better looking images i recommend you to buy first the full studio license for davinci resolve uh, that costs around 300 bucks and then maybe later you can think about to buy plugins for davinci resolve because if you buy the full license of davinci resolve studio you'll also get a fusion studio that is an extremely powerful compositing and visual effects software that will basically let you do everything you can think about uh, even without external plugins and if you are interested in the, the answer plugin, I will put the link in the description where you can check out yourself more about this plugin. So this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment area below. It's under the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.